I guess y'all can consider this a public service announcement, but you know, one of the main messages I wanted to get across in this video is to not be spiritual only when life is good. You understand? A lot of people, when they like get their stride and they have like a good period of time, you know, they're like, oh my God, the sun is smiling on me. God has answered my prayers. Uh, my, my sacrifices to Cthulhu have been answered. You know what I'm saying? And when everything is going good, everything's, oh my God, this is so great. This is so great. But then when things get rough, you automatically crumble. Why were you practicing your spiritual belief? Why were you learning about manifestation? Why were you learning these rituals, these chants, these spells? Uh, why were you, even if you trust yourself, why is it that you've been trusting it? Yo, I've been killing it, bro. This has been my month. This is my year. Yo, I'm owning it. And then something bad happens and all of a sudden, yo, I don't think I could do this anymore. Like, it, it just, nothing makes sense to me right now, man. It's like, see, why is it that you're so easily broken? You understand? If you are uh, like going as far to call something your belief, me, manifestation, belief, energy, frequency, vibration, belief. I live this. This is me. This is my body. This is what my cells vibrate at. I live this, whether it's good or bad. Why is it that when something bad happens, you automatically say, scrap that and you just go into like this, this dwelling state of mind? You understand? Why is it that you get all panicky? When everything was good, the universe is answering all of your calls. When everything is bad, you have no idea what's going on. You have to understand that life is a bunch of ebbs and flows. It goes up, you have a good moment, and you might have a little rough patch. But it always goes back up. You know, especially if, you, if you're practicing what you believe when it comes to be with manifestation, frequencies, all that type of stuff. If I'm having a little, a little rough moment, I sit down with myself and I'm like, okay, I'm feeling a little off right now. What do I need to do right now? Okay, boom, boom, boom. You need to do that when things are doing good. You need to do that when things are going rough. Because even when you're doing good, you're always working on yourself, aren't you? So even though you're on cloud nine, you're like, okay, what's something else I can get, I can do to get me to the higher level? And you're going to ask yourself that, and then you're going to do it. And that's when things are going good. Why aren't you doing that when things are bad, when there's an obvious problem in your life? And you just, and you just sit there, instead of going through the same process when everything was calm and peachy, you're going to be like, oh my God, this is the, what's going on? I thought manifestation worked. I thought there was, I thought my energy was high. And you're going to spaz out. You know, like when it comes to healing, like simple things, you know, it's like you've been using crystals for healing. You've been you've been bathing with them. You've been drinking water with infused crystal energy. You've been all doing all this type of stuff. You catch a cold, you lose your mind. I thought the crystals were going to protect me. I thought that calm down. Did you charge your crystals? <laughs> you understand? Simple questions like that will get you right back on track. You know, think about it like this. Like I said, I've been learning about stocks, cryptocurrencies, investments, right? And this this uh, abundance mindset mindset that I'm trying to have, you know. And what I've noticed well, as, as a beginning investor, I notice when the prices are going up, everyone is extremely happy. Oh, my God. Yes. Yes. I knew I made the right investment. Yes. Yes. But then when it crashes down or the market corrects, people don't know the term correction. When the market corrects and the, and the you know, your stock price, crypto price goes down, everyone's like, oh my God, I'm losing so much money. And then they go blaming people. Like, you said to invest in this. Why would you tell me to do this if the stock was going to go down? You do what you do. You understand? But people don't understand the, the game that you're playing. Life stocks. Pretty much the same thing when you really look at it. It goes up, it goes down. When prices are high, you enjoy it. You take your profits. When your life is going good, you take a, you take take inventory of your mindset. Okay, okay, I'm feeling good right now. How am I feeling? How am I doing? Boom, 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 boom. Okay, stock crashes. I said, okay, cool, stock crashed. It's time to buy more because what's going to happen? It's going to go up. Your life gets crazy. Okay, wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I can't spaz out right now. I need to I need to recollect everything that I'm doing and think about it. Okay, I did this, I did this, but I, I did skip that schedule. Okay, boom, boom, boom. I have been feeling kind of low lately, so that's why this could have happened. That's why I could have checked this into my life. You see what I'm saying? It's like you can't say God is blessing you when everything's good and God's cursing you when things get bad. You know what I'm saying? You can't say that a shun, you know, blessed you with love because you had a couple couple likes on Tinder or whatever. But then when all three of them stand you up, she's cursed you. You see what I'm saying? You know, in Cthulhu, I don't know how Cthulhu works, but in, in, in the fill in the blanks. <laughs> you understand? Well, I'm, all I'm saying is you're all on a spiritual journey, whether you believe in yourself, God, Jesus, source, whatever. You believe in something, then believe in it. Believe it, that it has the power to get you out of that rut. Just, at, just like how it was able to send you to higher highs, you need to understand that it can just as easily get you out of those lows as well. 
You know, so I hope that made sense. But I just wanted to throw that thought out there to the next one.